is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. <sighs> no matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled. And I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Sophie. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or... Is this another doppelganger? <sighs> no matter what that photo of me suggests, none of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Sophie chapter. Restraining Order Lucas said Sophie once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Sophie, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Sophie canoodling. But what does that even mean? Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Sophie. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of.
Go ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky, or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. 
final. Safi. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi! How did we get here? What happened? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max! Tell me how to stop this! What do I have to do? Pull the trigger! I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I have to do this. Is this here because of me? Because I'm fucking with time again? This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench.
If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this real. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. You stay the fuck away from me! What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am, and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. You were right. I shot Sophie, but I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look, these flowers, what are the odds they bloom? In the middle of winter, exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone, I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other... Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump. Back over to make sure I didn't break him.
Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's... Psychic storm. in the middle of something right now, Platypus Vax. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Sophie's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... I picked it up off the ground outside the observatory. <laughs> you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need her help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I... Stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be the future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and, oh God, the storm. Max? Look, 
There's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thayet's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... to. Would have been you otherwise. Max, if this spreads to campus, 
If our colleagues, our friends, our students get devoured like this? I can just... I can just stop using my powers. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But... Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay. Talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max, hey! So what do I owe the pleasure? Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. Look, I don't know what I'm at liberty to tell you, but I'll do my best. What do you want to know? So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? Ugh. Forgive me for dancing around things. I... I wish I could be straight with you, really. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention.
Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, well, part of it. Why? Can I read it? Someone ought to. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Okay, time for a delicate conversation. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna... 
try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself... A great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Sophie associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you... keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. He's probably in the admin building.
Lucas must be really grateful if he deigns to be this nice to me. Hey, sport. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. Anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Are you working on your podcast? Yeah. I'm researching this really fascinating string of killings in West Germany in the late 80s. See, there was this hospital... Th You'll have to tune in if you want to hear the rest. I'll be sure to. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. What should I say this time? Eventually, you'll understand that not everything that happens is your fault. something it's just it took me so long to get into the society i'll be damned if i quit because of one little comment still if i don't speak up who will Ugh. i swear if it was anyone else in charge i'd feel a little bit better about all this i don't know the society was she talking about abraxas I know I should say something. It's just... It took me so long to get into the society. I'll be damned if I quit because of one little comment. Still, if I don't speak up, who will? Ugh. I swear, if it was anyone else in charge, I'd feel a little bit better about all this. I don't know. The society... Was she talking about Abraxas?
The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Safi bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. She probably saw me in The Importance of Being Earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, but I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So it had nothing to do with Maya Okada? Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Why is Yasmin talking about you, of all people, Finn? Maybe... ...who got a Braxis and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. And nicer, frankly. Finn, cut the bullshit. This isn't about you. It's about the best person to head Abraxas. Right now, you're not in a place I'm where in a you place can... I'm place to keep Abraxas above it all. As long as I have this job, we could... light the observatory on fire and get away with it. You're not even a student here. You graduated years ago. Plus, Abraxas should be about marginalized people making subversive art. Not about straight white guys getting wasted and committing arson. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you, trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy, and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? V? 
Finn gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems. Which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. He looks so composed. Let's hope what I've learned is enough to crack him. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? 
There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead. For years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But... That wasn't true, was it? Finn... What really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. You and Sophie had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. <laughs> Remind me not to underestimate you. Alright, so was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield. Whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. A pen so fancy I'd be nervous to write with it. Looks like Lucas has been having some late nights. It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled, Safi's your friend, but it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so thank you. No problem. I hope whatever is going on between you and Safi can be fixed. Hopefully without that 
I'm afraid that ship has sailed. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling, getting chosen for the big screen. About time, right? <laughs> uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? I don't really know much about her, but I heard she was your student. I'm just curious is all. What happened to Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid you'll have to whet your curiosity somewhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here, either. This is it. Let's see what he's hiding. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in this timeline? The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're hand pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kinda like Lucas. I don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. Do you have something for me, Mr. Filing Cabinet? These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. That 
That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Maybe he reads it for the articles. Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? If Alderman never existed, how the hell do Moses and I remember him? I need to turn this place up. Surely there's something good in here. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. There's a little lock on that drawer. I didn't... <sighs> That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's got to be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit. It's the same. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Sophie, hey. 
Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. So many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Joyce still treats me like her second daughter, even after everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. So, any idea what you're gonna do? Do? I'm not gonna do anything. Well, obviously doing nothing is making you miserable. If I was at home, I could get wasted. But they won't serve me here. Amanda Card. Alcohol is... You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max Journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. Wanna swap places?
Looks like nobody's having a great night. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. I wish Safi gave me a moment to explain. Watching her work. Oh shit, that's weird. Do not say that out loud, Max. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. An old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? <sighs> like... <laughs> like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. You are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were going to go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we going to do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess. Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. 
The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares at your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, Shockey. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> Probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. Happened so fast, nobody has time to catch her. <laughs> Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she. Stone Cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is gonna be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Oh? Good to know. 
because I can be vicious. <sighs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So, you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. get off about an hour uh but before we do anything else uh, maybe we should sleep on it in my bed <laughs> as much as i'd like that um i'd like to be able to tell my therapist i made good choices this week you are a very smart woman Damn. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it. Um. This was cute, but where's the unsubscribe button? Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth, so... Reggie... I know, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck-up. 
and maybe maybe they're right. Reggie, you're funny, genuine, clumsy. <laughs> but I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. At least there's one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Anytime. So, are you gonna take the visionary ventures gig? I'm supposed hey. to give them an answer by tomorrow. Hey, yourself. And? and? How are we feeling? Oh, you know, Damn, I'm upright. What changed? Take it easy, okay? It was all Moses. I made pasta for him since he wasn't really eating. Oh, lucky guy. Your spaghetti alla carbonara made me see God. There's Ben, looking rough. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me. Help yourself. <laughs> Rough day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. Colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um. Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Toffee. Oh. Well, I should have told you. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up, eventually. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. All I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. I need to be more drunk. Is 
See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of whack. She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh -huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? Let's just say I was a little disappointed when I found out she had a wife. You never know. Her wife could be down too. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or pass. Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them. Just... Just... <laughs> ah! Exactly. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes, me. Oh, now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because... Then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I would not have pegged you for the type. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> <laughs> My turn again, and see who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So? about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Don't take this the wrong way, but... No worries. No hard feelings. That's the smasher pass rule. Yeah? Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so... Thank you. Night, Max. Good night, then.
I better cross back over in case Safi is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Hang in there, Vin. And Vin's liver. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. the hell? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here... ...really messed this place up. What were they looking for? Everything's still here where it belongs. Max Moses, I must bid you adieu. Make good choices, or you know, don't. What the? Looking for these? Really, Max? Most designated drivers at least give you a ride. No ride. You're staying here tonight. <laughs> but, Mom! Only intruder in that world is Safi. I wish she was here right now. Oh no. 
You're scared. Iris? Say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. Fair enough. No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? them go through my investigation stuff. Hmm. I sense this is a cat thing, and not a trespasser thing. Everybody knows that bad shit happens in basements. Shit, it's right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! Ways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way?
Is she? Me? From the other reality? What? Now what? Are you here to help me with Sophie? Sophie? God, Max, you're standing here looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Sophie. I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Uh Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. 